Owen, what do you think? We just transformed this thing into a brand new looking airplane. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Bonanza episode four I think we're up to. Today's the day, as you can see from the title and thumbnail, we get installing this brand new one-off custom interior. Something to match this fresh paint on the plane. As you can see, we are already well underway with the seats removed from the plane. Surprisingly easy. Undo some of these stops on the end of the rails and then they just slide right off the rails. It's awesome. Easy. And really convenient. So yeah, you guys saw this last video, the seats removed, so obviously we're still at that stage, but by the end of this video, the new seats will be going in and Aviation Creations has been hard at work. Ron and the whole team over there, they're just really awesome and they're blowing away our expectations. They're sending me little like teaser pictures and I'm like, Oh, they're looking so good. I can't wait to share with you guys what design we went with. We wanted something that would just really spice it up and really look like a custom like car Italian leather design with, yeah. with you'll see, but we did some diamond stitching, some contrasting stitching with the perforated inserts. They are gonna look incredible. And it's gonna work perfectly with not only the interior, but also the exterior and some of the colors because he said, I got this leather, this leather. He showed us a hundred different leathers and it was so fun to get to be a part of the process, but also to have him help guide us on exactly what's gonna look good and what he's done before. Yeah, because luckily our side panels are in really good shape but them being brown, of course, with the carpet, uh, uh, dark brown, we have to go with something that's gonna match those, those other items on the interior. Look at that. The headliner is a beautiful, it's like, I think it's redone because it's in perfect shape. It's like a tan leather beige. So the answer is pretty easy. Go with something that's brown and beige. So we can't wait to show you what we came up with. We're heading over there right now. He's ready for us in 30 minutes. So it's a short drive over there. It's Deer Valley. It's one airport over. over. All right, just rolled up. Look, we're in the right spot. Aviation Creations here at Deer Valley Airport. Only 20 minutes away. That's so beautiful that we're so close and local. Yes, really fortunate for that. And then Auto Creations coming to a JR Garage video. Stay tuned. Look at all this stuff. You know you're in the right spot when you see. These literally look like Lamborghini seats in here. They're for airplanes. He goes all out. Look at all that stuff up there. Ah, oh, there he is. The man himself. We're just admiring all of the different designs and everything up here. These are some of the materials that we looked at when you came by with the samples. So we've been working at the perfect design for a week with you, going through some yeah. options, some iterations. And but we got it exactly how we wanted Ooh, it. Can't wait to show you. They're, they're in the back of uh, what we've worked up. Here are the headrests, a little sneak peek. There you wow, go. look how clean this B for Beechcraft. Just so clean with the contrasting coloring, which we'll show you in the back. One's already done back there, headrests, yeah, right? Yeah, we've got one to show you. And we also got a few seats we want you to see too. Oh, I think you'll let's see. Kick. You sent me a couple pictures over text, but uh, they were just starting the stitching, and now you say they're taking form. Oh my goodness. Check this out. This is what you oh, had. That's before. You had. That's before. After. And then look at, this was the seat back, by the way, to refresh your memory. Oh, oh yeah. Old fashioned and heavy. We're gonna be lighter weight than yes, the original yeah. seats. We saved you almost, uh, I'm gonna say four pounds per seat. Oh, that's Maybe awesome. Like, look at the diamond stitching exactly yeah. like we planned yeah. and mocked so up with you. Perforated design. inserts. Oh, man. And, and then we put all double needle stitching for you on oh, there to color this... coordinate with that. Boom, one of the done headrests. Beautiful. These are the rear seats, by the way, so the passengers get to enjoy. And then there's your front seats wow. that are still need to be built. Look at yeah. that. So explain that. So you do all just completely yeah, well, custom, one off. What we do is, I uh, learned years ago, it's better to introduce the padding on each and every part. So we hand cut all the leather uh, separately and then we, we tack sew it. 
So mm -hmm. now you get a full foamed seat. So when you build wow. it, it gets nice and tight like that. Look at the this bolsters. Did you guys notice on the yeah. video these huge bolsters? So it's going to feel yeah. like we're in a Lamborghini. <laughs> right. Wow. Here's your cushion, what it's going to look like. Here's yeah. how we get those bolsters, because you go in and custom add all this yeah. thigh support, the bolsters. These are going to yeah. hug you so nicely, and keep you in there. Here's your armrest that goes on here. Oh, yeah. And you're seeing it in a stage. It still yeah. has to be finished. But oh, perfect. And here's what a little bright work that we did. Oh, yeah, polished see. out. Are the pockets on the back? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Full. Custom do that too? Yes. Everything is closed out and sewn seam to seam. So we get rid of this heavy look. Yeah. And now you get the new. Incredible. Your guests can't smell it, but do you smell the leather? Oh, guys, I wish you could <laughs> smell it through the video. Uh, you go from just the typical airplane smell from the 70s, and you can just tell, and then now you hop in something like this. It smells like brand new Italian leather. Well, it yeah, is brand it new is, Italian it leather. It is Italian leather. Uh, That's why. Well, we wanted to make it perfect for you, so oh, it's my. Italian leather on the brown. This is what we call a rustic brown, so it's got a lot of character to it. Uh, yeah. And just t typical being a boring, where every piece has got its own character. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like bomber jacket. Yeah, it's got that rustic look, which we have in our truck we really like that and yeah, that's uh, right and this is gonna work great in the plane because the, the side panels are not just like one flat color they're like yeah. brown and tans and they it should work out coordinate really well. perfectly we took this part remember you didn't think this could be oh yeah the and trim window a whole new life for your door Jeez. surround that thing was broken clear in <laughs> three four five pieces Easily. yeah we yeah. brought this to you in pieces and now it's all together in one so we still have to do another coat on it but basically you can't even tell where the crack was on that. Oh, yeah, it was so, cracked right there. Gone. Yeah. You got the uh, little armrest reconditioned as well. I'll put in a before clip of those. They were pretty gnarly, really, I mean, chipped up, scratched up, flaking the paint. We just primed it and then put one coat on to oh. try and restore that looks look brand for new. you. They're coming out real good. And then, as you know, you have your own little wood inlays. Yep, go we got back those in back at the garage. So we put all new hook and loop in there. This is an incoming job with all kinds of plastic. Oh, yeah. So, so the, the bread and butter is mainly just people mailing you the stuff, right? I mean, yeah, we do uh, what we call assisted do it yourself all over the country. Okay, and during that process, we'll get a person like yourself that you know, fortunately for you, you're out of Scottsdale, but many other people like Arkansas, Illinois, let's just say, so they all go to their airplane, take it all out. Yeah. Put it in a few ah. boxes, send it to us, and then we completely refurbish it. That's it, it and then you send it and back. We build it just like your seat, so all your assignment is to put it back in. Just a real quick example. Oh, these this are like the, the old panels? Ah, and when you, yeah. Uh, Christian, if you flip that over real quick, you see it's all old fashioned oh, cardboard oh. garbage. But so what we do is, and I completely make them out of aluminum, I don't use oh, cheap cardboard. We'll do all of them. And in this wow. particular case, his were all bad. So now what happens, the magic starts where then we completely will design and then cover yep. all in leather. He's going to have a brand new looking interior. You, you get what you pay for. It's the craftsmanship. <laughs> this is incredible what you guys do. So it goes to show they don't just do seats. It's the panels. The you can do a full interior. Everything, everything in it. Oh, yeah, the carpets and headliners. and Everything's FAA. Everything we do is all FAA approved. Right. Terms. We will be handing off the right. certs to you. You can't just go down into your garage and buy no, some leather no, online, no, no. stitch up your seats, and throw them back in. <laughs> no, a whole different process involved. Yeah. You know, from our foam, the foam is certified, your carpet certified, your headliners, anything wow. that we do. Seat belts are recertified with the new TSA, or TSO rather. The Cessna that we're doing, see, so again, all new painted frames, oh, then yeah. we put all new foam, we hand skive and shape it just like we did for you. That yep. that thigh support, these these seats will actually be comfy to sit in for <laughs> once. Right. Yeah. You'll want to go on a five hour you flight. Sit on it, not in it. This is Piper's, that's another beach Piper, craft. Piper, yeah. I can imagine some people probably like, oh, just keep the old interior, it's yeah, fine. Right. Like, no way, Jose. <laughs> I'll take the lighter weight, the brand new smells. I mean, it's just, this is going to transform the whole airplane. Yeah. Nobody else has this. This no, is nobody has this whatsoever. one of a kind. And that's what you do all day, every day. Just custom yeah. one-off things. They can do anything you want, or they can do something as simple as you want. It's totally up to you, the customer, and they can make it happen. So thank you so much for this. Yeah. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, just like that, it's day two. We got Owen in the back here because we are going flying in the Bonanza later today. But we just got the text from Ron saying the seats are done. Oh, oh there they are. This is Owen's first time seeing them. We got wow. to see them being built. Oh my goodness. It's a nice little before and after. Unreal, look at the before and after.
Oh, wow. Knock these out of the park. The sculpting, the bolsters, the thigh supports. These are going to be the comfiest things to sit in night and day. Like a brand new plane. One less thing to differentiate our 1975 vintage plane from a brand new one. This is awesome. All right, there's the man himself. This hey, is how you guys doing? This is a work of art, Ron. This think? is Craftsman. incredible. And especially with the time crunch we put you on and you oh, yeah. still got them done. <laughs> a miracle took place today. <laughs> uh, just to give you an idea here, uh, since your cohort in crime here hasn't seen these yet. That's right. Um, you notice what we did is I did the contrast and the stitching and then we did this color on the double needle on the outside for the accent uh, uh -huh. purposes. Jeff and Christian thought it really would be a good idea to do that. the B logo. So now you've got total comfort with the bolsters and your lumbar supports and comfort level will be a lot better for you, especially on long hauls. You know, flying to example Montana yep. from Phoenix, yep. you know what I mean? We don't want you to get what we call squirming but I do. Yeah. Well, wow. we're going to put these to use and have a report back for you tonight with how they feel. One of the things, uh, Jeff, I figured you'd get a kick out of is that was what it was like before. Mm -hmm. I know now it's Jeez. a distant memory, but it's still fun for you to see that. Crazy. Wow. So we readdressed the frames, painted the frames as necessary, even though they're oh, a yeah. small amount, but the rear seats here are the ones yeah, that... Yeah, they're brown, the um, frames to match. Yeah. Perfect. And as far as, you have three headrests here right now. But, yeah, we were missing a headrest and couldn't find one in but, time, but we'll buy one and get it done. Yeah, and the stanchions are there, so when that time comes then, but I think we wanted to try and get you back in the sky ASAP. Right. We cannot thank you enough. Like like we said earlier, your links will be in the description for people to check out. You know, if somebody else has some interior out there that needs some love and needs some uh, restoration, I mean, that's what you do. Yeah, Aviation you creation. Your website's awesome with lots of inspiration and lots of your prior work on it so people can really get a feel for uh, some ideas and get creative. You bet. I mean, it's uh, real simple. They don't even have to do the www dot. They can just Google aviation creations. We'll give you some before pictures so that way you can put this in the portfolio, the that before and after, great. to get some inspiration for what you want to do. And then just call him up, send him an email, and he'll be able to set you up with a nice new interior. Ron's the man. He <laughs> is the man. Thank you so much. No one else could have done this, especially in this savings. time. And they're light. They're light. <laughs> Save some weight. Awesome. All right. Thanks again, Ron. Thanks, guys. All right, back inside the hangar for the first time. Christian will be mounting these up later today. We'll get it on video. We're actually, we were gonna go flying in 20 minutes, but once again, we're taking the safe option and just flying tomorrow morning because Owen looked at the weather and it's gnarly. I was looking at some stuff on the radar, kind of didn't really like what I saw. Called 1-800-WX brief, got a formal weather briefing. I asked him, I was like, so is this stuff gonna dissipate overnight if we were to leave tomorrow morning? He said, yes, that's exactly what it's gonna do. So those typical afternoon thunderstorms are biting us today, but yeah, don't wanna, play it safe and don't wanna risk it. leave tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. we'll be leaving, so that gives us plenty of time to install these even though it doesn't take long, but we just didn't wanna be rushing around, moving all the cars to get the plane out, you know, just taking it easy, taking our time. So we will go flying tomorrow, but by the end of this video, we will have these seats inside and the new armrests that are going on and the new window surround that got all broken and cracked. All right, that's good enough. Wow, yeah. that's perfect. And the tan matches perfectly with the roof. All right, that's looking good. Well, we'll check back in with you after we grab some lunch and we get installing the rest of this. Let's roll. Tops at 40,000 feet. Jeez, gnarly. We would have had to do some serious deviating. That'd be a bumpy ride, because look at that. That was what was gonna be facing us. No thanks. And all that. No escaping it. No matter which way we go. All right, I finished with the two rear armrests, but now we're gonna do the passenger and uh, pilot side. Obviously much bigger, but look how nice that turned out with just a simple little restoration. Look at it, they gave us new Velcro for the little wood trim, which we'll put on uh, afterward because there's two little screws in here on the back side. But anyway, it's gonna mount up just like that. So let's get putting on this one in the pilot seat. Okay, wood going on. Ah, snug. Bam. Okay, Christian say just got the last one in. Oh, snap. 
Look at that. Hey, Owen, what do you think? Dude, we just transformed this thing into a brand new looking airplane. Right? And if you guys could only smell inside of here. All right, we're gonna do the pilot's comfort test. Oh, right, you gotta sit in it. Okay, right, hop on in, go. pilot Can Owen. I survive in this for five and a half hours? You got those new bolsters with the new cushions. This will work. Wow. You look comfy. It's nice and snug. Wraps around the kind of my back and Wow, oh, yeah. Dude. All right, gets Owen's approval. And the brown goes perfect with the rest of the brown on the trim panels. And then the tan goes perfect with the tan on the roof. It's just a perfect match made in heaven. I love this. Oh yeah, and the little B logo. This is Italian fine leather going to work. It smells Amazing in that plane. It smells like I'm at a demo plane at Oshkosh. There you guys go. I got my trim uh, door surround all the way back on. And also those armrests, the before and after, they look incredible. And Owen's ready to go for a five hour flight tomorrow. It's rock and roll, baby. Which you guys gotta stay tuned for whatever that is, the fifth episode, flying up to Montana. We are flying to our property in Montana with the private airstrip. This is going to be epic, the first time landing there. This is gonna be awesome. So that's coming next video. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're new. Christian, once again, we can't thank Ron and the guys enough. Those guys over there are just class act. Couldn't have gone any better. Yep, he helped us design the seats and he came up with the uh, two-tone insert and then the perforated, I mean, get a close-up of that, guys. See the perforated inserts for better cooling in hot Arizona? I mean, even the stitching, he was pointing Dude. out the colors on the stitching. Just... Yeah, the perfect contrast. So we got the brown stitching on the inside and then the tan stitching over here as a contrast, and then the tan B. We gave him a few ideas, but he just took it above and beyond. He's like, hey, how about if we curve here, and then what if we do another curve to give it a nice sporty look on the bolsters, and just, they went to town, and they did not disappoint. So thank you once again, Aviation Creations. They'll be linked down below if you wanna overhaul your interior as well, however much or little you wanna do. If you just wanna do basic seats, you can do that. If you just wanna do the carpets, you can do that. If you wanna do the walls, you can do the wall panels as well, you can do as much as you want. So one last before and after, there you guys have it. Comment down below what you think of that transformation. Last video we made the plane paint and engine bay and underbody look brand new. Actually, Christian just spent another three hours this morning waxing it, so it is absolutely perfect. This plane is ready to rock and roll. Thank you guys so much for watching. Final words, guys. Let's go to Montana tomorrow. Let's go to Montana tomorrow. See ya. See ya.